He's got his Oakley M frames that don't fold, just like Lance. Unfoldable. Absolutely unfoldable. Unfoldable sunglasses on the unfoldable head. He's just, he's going to win. He's, Lance is just the boss. Armstrong is riding in the same mode that we used to... Uh, unfortunate accident on the descent there. It was very slippy. A lot of riders in that group behind taking lists. Well, was an attack there by Armstrong. Well, the yellow jersey has obviously had a great day in his first day in the Alps here. Look at the acceleration of this as he chases down those motorbikes. Five and a half hours he's been pedaling today, marking everything, never looking distressed. And now he's going to try and tear this race apart. 1999, where cycling becomes mainstream in the west this undoubtedly is the stage that puts cycling full gas full netty bra seven watts per kilo ftp on the world international media stage lance armstrong cancer survivor left for dead by his team in the yellow jersey on a carbon bike flexing up the mountain now some people say, oh, this is, he's on drugs, Lance Armstrong's a cheat. Well, we've done a zillion videos on why every single champion, from Michael Jordan to Michael Phelps to Kathy Freeman, etc., none of them, in my opinion, are clean. Natty Brass. You know, it's, it's pro sport. Right? It's just, you, can, you can think the stripper likes you in the club because she winks and smiles at you, and you can get one artist, and you can tell your friends... And they're all going to laugh at you. Your friends of experience will laugh at you. If you think that, you know, these sports champions who earn millions of dollars a year contracts, if you think they're natural, they're not using any exogenous hormones, you, you, live, you keep living that fairy tale. Your mum probably picks you up from work at age 35. You know, probably how it is. You, know, <laughs> you probably think that hickey on your wife's neck was a rash from a new, your new uniform. It wasn't from... Kevin at sales. All right. Anyway, let's get to the crux of the video. Is Lance Armstrong using a motor? I knew from this, when I was watching this stage, I was like, wow, Lance is on some good drugs. This is back in 99. I remember watching this. Because Lance has beaten Pantani, you know, etc., etc. Um, and I was just thinking, there's no way. So he's beaten Veronk. You know, we knew Veronk was in the, and he has later beat Pantani. But I'm just saying, there's no way that he's, you know, He's nutty. You know, if you're beating dopers, you're also dope. At this level, right? At this level. Zula, Festina rider. Escartin. You know, it's just, it's just, what, it's the job. If you want to win the Tour de France, if you want to win Wimbledon, if you want to win the men's 100 meter freestyle Olympics, you got to use EPO. It's not even a question. It's just like brushing your teeth. So, okay, so Lance has joined the EPO brigade. Cool. Now, people are saying he's, he's not using a motor. No, 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 no. There's no motor here. 60 Minutes did a special in 2017 while some Hungarian guy put a motor in this exact, you know, 55, 5200 OCLB frame set that, you know, CBS or 60 Minutes bought from eBay. They put a motor and they got Tyler Hamilton to ride up and down this little street. And Tyler's like, yeah, it could be the difference between winning and losing. They didn't give any objective data. They didn't say this is producing 100 watts for five hours, which it couldn't. You know, in such a small battery in 1999, it's not possible. So, it, uh, have e bikes been used in pro cycling? Eh, I'm gonna say maybe. I've seen a few one day situations. Where I'm thinking, man, Cancelar's going pretty quick against Tom Burden, etc. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. But if you think of the logistics in the Tour de France, Lance is in the yellow jersey. Are we, uh, you know, how many e bikes would it take <laughs> to keep a ride in the yellow jersey? And this is Lance Armstrong, this guy's world champion at age. Was he 21, 23, 93? You know, so this is a guy with some some pedigree as uh, an elite athlete. I don't believe there's a motor in this stage. I believe Sestuaire was just one on good old, you know, the good old stack, the endurance athlete stack, the, the same stack that swimmers use, runners use, marathon runners, you know, 100 meter, 1500 meter freestyle swimmers use. The stack is Athropoitin, EPO. We're going to use a bit of prednisone, corticosteroids for breathing. We're going to use a bit of painkillers, various tramadol, etc. We're going to use some asthma drugs, corticosteroids, albutamol, you know, things like that, canacort. We're going to use some stimulants, ADD medications such as amphetamines, such as Adderall, dextroamphetamine, lysamphetamine, etc. Maybe methylphenidate. All these things have been used illegally with the TUE. So that's the, that's the endurance athlete stack. We call it the Michael Phelps stack, the Lance Armstrong stack, the... 
the Haley Gab Selesi stack, the Iliad Kip, Kipchoge stack. It's just the stack that endurance athletes use to perform at mutant levels. Now, people say, look, no, no, no. Harley, he's, he's got a motor in the bike. He's, he's on drugs and he's on, got a motor. No, no, no. There's drugs, there's no motor, in my opinion. All these, most of these guys have got drink bottles in their bike still, so they're not even really at their limit in terms of, like, trying to save every gram. But you'll notice here Lance Armstrong will ditch his water bottle. Okay, he'll ditch his water bottle soon. Now, the batteries, you know, the batteries are generally held in the water bottle for some of these Vivax motorbikes, etc. Um, <laughs> I, just, I just don't believe Lance has a motor. This is not possible. He's probably doing right now, he looks to be maybe 71 kilos, and the watts he's going to be doing right now is going to be around, you know, it would be less than Phil Guy Mon up Norton Summit. It's got to be, watts per kilo-wise, I'm going to say he's probably doing maybe 410, 420 watts. And these guys are back now doing about 380. And now he's putting a bit of a surge. He's going to take off again. He's Look at that. He's got the draft for the motorbikes. That's a big draft. We've got one, two, three, four, five motorbikes. And he's probably doing it about 30k an hour. That's a huge draft. That's a flat section of the road. So Lance is definitely getting a bit of a draft there. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven motorbikes. Seven motorbikes. So he's got a huge advantage. If you ever ridden behind motorbikes and that, which I have done, you know, it, it makes a big difference. Okay, so there's a bit of a draft from going on here. There's three guys against ones. These guys are just pulling off turns. Roll, they're rolling over smooth. They're not attacking. They're doing it good, but they don't have that draft effect. Now, all the media, everything's on Lance now because they're like, wow, the American, on the American bike, Lance Armstrong, the Hollywood star. Look at him. He just, he's like a, an Oakley advert. He's a Trek advert. He's a Nike advert right now. He's just, This is absolute iconic footage right now. He doesn't, Veronk, Pulte vacuum cleaners that doesn't have the same pull. Look at that. It's even shadow there. It's just look, look at this lighting. You, you couldn't look at the light. Even the lighting was good for Lance. You know that's how much the world wanted Lance. The the lighting is just you know, making his tan pop. It's like he's got a lot on himself. And look at the gr grinding as well. Look at that grinding. Just really inefficient. Really inefficient. Look at Lance's cadence. Look at that smooth, suppress, finesse. One eighty one. The last time he wore that number. You look at that finesse. So he's really, he's got the Team Sky cadence going on there. He's just got that advantage. He's what, a 58 centimeter track. He's 130 centimeters tall. He's got a, quite a high stack height there. He's lean. He's going zygomatic in the cheeks. He's got his Oakley M frames that don't fold, just like Lance. Unfoldable. Absolutely unfoldable. Unfoldable sunglasses on the unfoldable head. He's just, he's going to win. He's, Lance is just the boss. He's the alpha. He's the sigma. He, he, he's not an alpha in terms. He's in the in the bunch. He's an alpha, but he's a sigma, and he provides the people. He provided millions of dollars for his brands. Trek. He made Trek. Absolutely. Me made it rain for Trek. Mavic. These Mavic Seriums. Man, everyone. I had a pair of these. Great wheels back in the day. So Lance made Mavic millions of euros. He made Shimano. This is the first Tour de France win for Shimano. He made the Japanese. Mate, imagine how many geisha girls would be employed with the Shimano stocks that Lance helped sell after his Tour de France. Nike cycling shoes. You, you, know, you, know, you couldn't sell Nike cycling shoes. People like Nike cycling shoes. What? And then with Lance Rock and Nike cycling shoes, everyone wanted some Nike Horta cams, some Nike Poggios, Poggios, whatever you want to call them. You know, Lance made Nike cycling. Oakley. Oakley M frames. Lance made Oakley. Like, how much? Dollar? They're making Oakleys for like 20 cents of piece. M frames that cost you about twenty four cents to make. Lance Armstrong, you could sell them for two hundred eighty bucks here in Australia. So Lance was just people just go, oh my god, he's got a flappy jersey. He's making two ASO. Imagine all the high class hookers everyone would have been using off of Lance's back because the profits he was making for him. Because he's like, I had cancer, I got ditched. Now I'm going to take the Michael Phelps stack and I'm going to ride all these Frenchies, Russians, Belarusians, Italians. I'm going to ride him off my wheel, and we're going to smash it. There's no motor in this bike. He's ditched his bottle. The bottle is gone. Where's the battery? You know what I mean? Oh, the battery cable was just popping. No, it's not. He still maintained the same watts. He's got the same gap there, okay? And where's the bike change? You know, he's been, he's been covering every attack for the last five and a half hours. He's just, you know, the logistics of bike changes. You watch the whole stage. There's no bike change, okay? This is just pure, simple, hard work. And pharmaceutical assistance. This is a professional sport. 
Okay? You can't call Lance Armstrong a fraud. You can only call him a fraud if he was the only one in pro sport using drugs. You know, clean athletes are the exception. Drugged athletes are the norm. It's just how it is. Clean champions don't exist. Drugs make champions. You've got to have freaky genetics, freaky chip on your shoulder, freaky luck, you know. And that's what, that's what it takes to be a champion. And Lance Armstrong was a champion of champions. He is today still a champion of champions. The Lance Armstrong effect, the greatest ever in sports history. Undeniable. Love him or hate him, the Lance Armstrong effect is absolutely iconic. Look at the lighting. The lighting's still perfect. And this footage is terrible. But somehow, it's, it, it's watchable. The headlights on Lance's calves bulge in the veins out. You know, it's just... That's what it makes this... This is absolutely iconic. The camera's shaky. It's flickering. Unacceptable by today's standards. But still, look at this as a check advert. Can you imagine everyone, all the executives, all the corporate crew, just screaming, just thinking all the profits that just the slogans they're going to use. There used to be... Before I had cancer, there was good days and bad days. And now there's only good days and great days. American flag. Look at the timing. You know what I mean? This was blasted, CNN, New York Times, Washington Post, big mouth, open, just breathing. You don't really see this passion from many writers these days, or athletes. He's absolutely on the move. In the saddle, out the saddle, in the saddle, out the saddle, just going for it. Didn't care if he lost, didn't care if he won. He all he cared about was just going full, zygomatic, Lance Armstrong-esque style. Just creating the icon on the You know, just look at that. Maybe his bike stops not that good, but he's just smacked his face. That is a face of someone just got, you know, just what can you even say now at this point? Iconic. Zipping up the jersey, doing his sponsors, little fist pump, still pushing the watts. Still pushing the watts. You know? Where's the motor there? There's no motor here, people. This is just Lance Armstrong. This is Ethropoitin. Hyper responder, the Lance Armstrong hyper responder, Cadence. He was an early adopter of Cadence, and he just rode away from all the grinders. All right, look at that, Sestriere, yeah. taken for the win. No e-bike, in my opinion. If you can show me proof of an e-bike, I'm all yours. Listen. Half-life of EPO is four hours. So you can back it out from there and figure out when you're in trouble. Will he pass every test because he does not take EPO? Yes, he will. My defense was that I...